What is this place? This was a burial ground. Whose burial ground? McMack Indians. I brought you here to bury Ellen's cat. Why, for God's sake? I said, why, Judd? I had my reasons. Okay, so this location is one of the most famous, if not the most famous location from Pet Cemetery. The, the, the Holy Grail, if you will, the most coveted, the Micmac Burial Ground in Sedgwick, Maine. Uh, this is another one that can be a little tricky to find. Um, so I'm going to try to show you how to get there in your approach but basically you, you want to go to Sedgwick Maine um, you're gonna drive through Blue Hill and you're gonna get on um, Route 15 I believe on Mines Road that's the road that I'm on right now and when I get to the end of this road I'm gonna take a left onto Snow's Cove Road that's the road that the entrance to the Micmac burial ground is located. So I'm going to try to show you this as I'm approaching it so that if you want to come and find this location yourself and visit, which I highly suggest that you do, um, you'll know what to look for. So we're coming down Mines Road, Route 15. We're going to come to a stop sign here in just a moment. At the stop sign, turn left onto Snow's Cove Road. There you go. Now, huh, there's another location from Pet Cemetery right over here off to my left. But we're going to save that for another video. So you come to this stop sign. Take a left. Okay, so now we're on Snow's Cove Road. And this is the road where the entrance is. So we'll come up on that here shortly. start to see these blueberry fields and when you start seeing the blueberry fields as you can see off to my left here now you're gonna come to these guardrails and this road right here oh shit, is the entrance to the Micmac Now, the gate is closed. I'm assuming they don't want people to drive up in there, which I don't recommend doing anyway. It's really treacherous terrain. Um, I drive a truck and I still wouldn't drive all the way up in there. It's not really meant for vehicle traffic. So unfortunately you do have to walk. When you get out, I parked right there. You're gonna walk back up here. This is what you're gonna see. These guardrails. And this spot right here. Is the entrance. Now it is a little flooded right now. But we're not going to let that stop us. We're going to get over this. But it's right on the other side of this gate. 
and then a little bit of a walk. Okay, so I've come around the gate. And this is it. Like I said, it's really nasty terrain to get up here. I think the last time I came, that gate was open and we did pull in and we actually pulled over right up here and kind of parked up here and walked the rest of the way. But I've also been here before when the gate was open, pulled in, parked, went up to the spot, did my thing, came back as the sun was setting and somebody had closed the gate behind my friend and I. And we didn't even, we weren't even sure we were gonna be able to get out of here because we were stuck inside. But luckily the gate was just pulled to and it wasn't locked, but it definitely freaked us out. Now, when you come to this spot, you can follow it straight all the way around, but I go up this way because once you get up here on this, I don't know if you want to call it a road, but when you get on this thing, you just follow this and this will bring you right to it. And again, much like uh, the spot in Acadia National Park, this is a bit of a trek to get up here. Bit of a hike. But, it's totally worth it. And you can actually, well maybe you can, maybe you can, but way up in the distance there, at the end, that's where we're going. Now it has been a while since I've been here, about five years. I came here, I took my buddy Adam, from Adam was here on Instagram and YouTube. Little plug there. Uh, I, I brought him here. Actually, I took him to all the pet cemetery filming locations. But this one in particular, I know he had a hard time with, which surprised me because he's from Texas. And obviously Texans deal with intense heat all the time. Well, on this particular day, him and I came in July. It was really hot and humid. And uh, it was definitely, well, we both were winded, struggling getting up here. So yeah, you can walk to it, but it is a little bit of a trek. And by the time you get up there and back, you're tired, man. Now you can see as you're kind of approaching the hilltop up there on the right, underneath that tree, you can see a pretty big boulder. And that is the boulder that Lewis and Judd come out from around after they get done ascending the quarry location. So they basically go from the tree path, the tree root path in Acadia National Park to the quarry, which is on Mount Desert Island. And then they come out right here to around that big boulder under that tree. We're gonna go right up there and get a closer look, but it's very recognizable as you're approaching. So you wanna look for that. Now, Mr. Judd Crandall, would you please check in with our viewers who have made this trek with us so far? See how they're doing. You all right? Whew, it's a rough one. As you get to the top of the hill, off to the right,
this is it. And this should look very, very recognizable to you. And that's the rock right there. And Lewis and Judd come out from behind from the quarry. Miles and miles and miles away. Totally different town. And where I'm standing is where the Micmac burial ground was built. Right here. Now this is a beautiful spot. This is what makes the trek totally worth it. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be quite as cloudy as it is because the sun is starting to go down and I was hoping for that matching sunset but it doesn't appear that's going to happen. Now one other thing I wanted to say about getting here. Yeah, you can see way down here, you can see my, where's my finger? Right here, that little road that goes around the trees. That's where we came from. So if you look at this spot on Google Earth, you can see that it's open, it, it's open up to all these blueberry fields. And it's kind of, it, it kind of just ends here. It goes a little bit beyond this spot, but after that, it's just woods. So basically, as long as you can get up here, you walk all the way up here in this direction from that road, you'll come to this spot. You can't miss it, especially if you're looking for that big boulder right there next to the tree unmistakable it hasn't changed in 35 years now as long as you get up here and you get into this area with the blueberry fields you will find this location it, it's not something you have to hunt around for it's pretty obvious where it is once you get in here um, and you're surrounded by woods on all sides so as long as you stay in this clearing opening area of the blueberry fields and walk this way, you'll get here. And it is a beautiful area. I love being here. It's a little eerie being here by myself, not gonna lie. But uh, we as uh, horror fans do what we need to do, right? So let's line up some shots. Now, I'm assuming I don't have to explain the scene to you. Uh, if you're watching this, I, I'm assuming you understand where this location comes into play. But just in case you don't, this is as Judd is taking Lewis to bury his daughter's cat, Church, in the Micmac burial ground. And they've gone through the pet cemetery They've climbed over the deadfall. They have ascended the tree root path in Acadia National Park. They have climbed the quarry on Mount Desert Island. And then they walk out around this big boulder here. So this is actually the angle where they come out from around the corner of the rock. And the biggest giveaway of that is the, that big rock to the left here is clearly in the shot when they come around the corner. Plus, just the angle of the, of the big boulder. Now, if you look at the screen grab here that I'm going to pop up on the screen, you can see the way that the boulder angles and then that little rock down there. I think what maybe threw 
me off in the past is the fact that it appears as though there's a lot of trees behind Judd and Lewis. And there may have been at one time, but a lot of that has cleared out. It's also possible that the Greens team actually added some trees there to make it look like they were coming out of the woods because it was too clear around here. I can't confirm that for sure one way or the other, um, but this is definitely the right angle from where they come out around the rock. Um, unfortunately, that one tree has kind of fallen right in the way, but you can see it. What is this place? And that's when you get that super cool crane shot. This was their burial ground. Whose burial ground? Big Mike Indians. Which unfortunately I cannot replicate here today. But when I did come with my buddy Adam in 2019, he did bring his drone and we got a really cool drone shot, aerial footage, kind of matching up um, that you could see where all the stone, the, the stone piles were placed and, and all that. So that was really cool. And that is in a separate video. If you want to check that out, that's a separate video. Both him and I have one on our channels. So Billy Spot Shots, Adam was here. It's called Walking the Path to the Pet Cemetery. And we basically replicate from location to location the exact walk that Judd and Lewis take to get here, which culminates in them coming out from around that boulder and uh, coming to this location. So if you wanna see what that walk looks like, please check that out. That will also be found in my Pet Cemetery playlist. Now you get this shot here when Lewis and Judd kind of walk up into the uh, the, the burial ground itself in, into the stones. You get this shot right here where Judd basically explains to Lewis that he needs to do this himself because each buries his own. And, you know, Lewis gives his, his best attempt at uh, picking into solid ledge. But you know what? Judd says, fuck it. Soil thin, but he'll manage. shot here as Lewis uh, attempts to dig for the first time and he swings the pickaxe <laughs> and it hits solid ledge. You get this angle right here. You get a little bit of that corner, the, the rock here in the corner. You can see that body of water off to the right top of the frame that is looks exactly the same today as it did back then which obviously the body of water looking the same isn't surprising but the dip in the trees exactly the same luckily those trees haven't fallen now you can see a tree right here um, on the other side of the boulder in the screen grab here but I, I think that that tree has fallen. That specific tree has fallen. And this tree that's actually behind this boulder has gotten huge because it really wasn't that big.
during the filming. So that that has really grown up. And you get this beautiful shot here of this location. This is this is the sunset shot where Judd's having himself a smoke while Lewis does all the work. Unfortunately, I don't have that beautiful sunset, but you can definitely tell this is the spot. And the boulder here, and again, there was a tree over here to the left of the boulder that has since fallen, but that little body of water that you can see back there, unmistakable. Now, another thing that gets asked an awful lot about this location, as you can see, there is a pile of rocks here. And this is the spot where they built the burial ground, right here. So, but as you can see in the distance, there's all kinds of these piles of rocks. So people always ask, is that pile of rocks from the film. Is that, are those the rocks shown in the film from the burial ground? Now, I like to believe that they are. I don't know that for sure. I don't know if anybody knows it for sure. Um, because as I said, there are piles of rocks kind of all over this blueberry field. In fact, I apologize about the wind. I am up high and the wind is picking up, so hopefully you can hear me. But if you look out onto the blueberry field, you can see all kinds of little piles of rocks, right? So with that in mind, there's no reason, way to know 100% whether this pile of rocks is from production. Now they did bleach the rocks that made up the burial ground, you know, all the stone piles everywhere. They were all basically, well, they, they look very white. Um, and I do know they bleached the rocks. I don't know if they did that to all of the rocks but when you look at that aerial shot, they definitely look very white compared to this. Now, obviously, over time, that could have changed. Very possible, could have changed. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, I cannot give you a concrete answer as to whether this is a pile of rocks that were here during production. Like I said, I like to believe that it is. In fact, I took one home as a souvenir the last time I was here. So I'm just gonna go on believing. Yeah, I think I pretty much covered it all. Um, as I said, you know, it's not that difficult to get to as long as you are on the correct road, which is Snow's Cove Road. So you get on Snow's Cove Road and you look for what I showed you at the beginning of this video. You look for those guardrails and just after the guardrails, when you're coming down that road, you look to the left and you'll see that, that gate and that little side access road. That's how you get up in here. And as I said, once you get into this blueberry field area, you really can't miss it. You basically walk all the way to the end, to the back. Uh, and it's the highest point in this area. So that's gonna do it. I felt like this one, should have its own video one so i could explain how to get here and two 
um, because this one just takes a little bit more time. You know, you kind of got to spend a little bit of time here, take it in to really appreciate this location. It's very, very cool to be here. Um, other than some of the trees having come down, it's, you know, well, it's, it's rock, it's ledge, so it's essentially unchanged. Um, I really wish that the, the piles of rocks that were all around here, maybe they are, maybe they just kind of got scattered all over this area, the blueberry field, because I find it hard to believe they would have trucked in all these rocks and then after the filming in this location, trucked them all out. I mean, that just doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, so, I have to believe they're, I mean, what would they do with them? If they got them out of this area. What, what would you do with all those rocks? So I have to believe they're here somewhere. So thank you guys for watching. Continue to check out my 35th anniversary video series for all the filming locations for Pet Cemetery. We're going to get them all. We're going to do all of them in depth, get every shot, every angle that we possibly can. We'll catch you in the next one.